హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ నమస్కారం వి ఆల్ విల్ అగ్రీ దాట్ లర్నింగ్ ఇస్ ద బ్రెత్ అండ్ సోల్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ ఇట్ స్టార్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వెరీ బర్త్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూస్ టిల్ ఆర్ లాస్ట్ బ్రెత్ లైఫ్ వితౌట్ లర్నింగ్ ఇస్ మీనింగ్లెస్ It's okay if we may or may not learn in bits and pieces. But it's very important that we learn from every single bit and piece. Because no one in this world knows everything. But everyone knows at least something. and after all we know that something is always better than nothing so we must learn to learn from everything around us that's the way of life in today's video we will continue with the same chapter chapter number 3 force and pressure in the previous video we had learned about thrust pressure and the units in which pressure is measured so today we are going to see some practical examples related to pressure before beginning let us revise some important thing which we had learned in the previous video we had learned that pressure depends on two factors the force applied and the area of the surface and how does it depend on increasing the force the pressure increases so we say that pressure is directly proportional to the force applied and on increasing the area the pressure decreases we call so we say pressure is inversely proportional to the area of the surface directly proportional means ek ke badhane se dusra bhi badhe and inversely proportional means on increasing the one the other decreases so using this information we will see some practical examples on pressure we will see some practical examples on pressure the first among which is a camel can easily cross the desert as compared to a horse or a donkey because the camel exerts very small pressure on the ground as it has very broad feet so because of the broad feet the area of camel feet is more and we have learned that if area increases the pressure decreases so because of that the pressure exerted by the camel on the sand is less because of which its feet does not sink in the sand and he is able to walk easily it is for the same reason that an elephant can walk in any kind of ground because 
its feet area is very large and we know that if area increases the pressure decreases so the pressure applied by the elephant however huge it may be the pressure on the ground is very small the next example is rear wheels of buses or trucks are provided with double wheels why so it is because most of the weight of these vehicles is towards their rear axle thus to prevent the tires from sinking in the ground or to prevent damage to the roads the double wheels are provided what do these double wheels do these double wheels increase the area of cross section and on increasing the area the pressure decreases so the pressure exerted by the buses or trucks on the ground decreases it is for the same reason that tank trailers are provided with 16 wheels or more similarly the army tanks by itself are made to move over broad steel tracks rather than on the wheels now why because the broad tracks increase the area of cross section on increasing the area again the pressure decreases so the so it reduces the pressure on the ground similarly the rear wheels of tractors are made very wide as the tractors are supposed to work on the soft ground small wheels can sink in the soft ground however the broad tires decrease the pressure on the ground and help the tractor to move in the fields easily next example is the skiers use flat and long skis to slide on the snow because the larger the area of cross section the less is the pressure on the snow it is to be noted that skiers are the persons who practice skiing so they use flat and long skis because it increases the area and because of the increase in area the pressure exerted on the snow decreases because of which they are able to slide over the snow without sinking their feet in the ground for the same reason that sledges are never provided with wheels because the wheels increase the pressure on the snow why because the area of the wheels is less and since the area is less the pressure exerted will be more next example the foundations of high rise buildings are made very wide why so that they do not sink under the extremely high pressure of the buildings since they are high rise buildings they exert much weight on the ground they exert high pressure so as to decrease the pressure their foundations are made wide by making them wide the area increases by increasing the area the pressure decreases next one 
all cutting instruments such as knives blades axes picks etc are sharpened from cutting edge as the cutting edge is sharpened the area of cross section decreases and since the area decreases the pressure exerted by them is more so by making them sharp we decrease the area of cross section and by decreasing the area of cross section the purpose is to increase the pressure exerted by them so that it is easy for us to cut the thing thus they can easily penetrate the given surface now it is for the same reason that the drawing pin is kept broad from the thumb side but very sharp from the pin side now why it is so because the broader thumb tack reduces the pressure on the thumb because the thumb tack is made broader by making it broader we increase the area and on increasing the area the pressure applied decreases so therefore the pressure exerted by the thumb tack is very less on the thumb so that we can easily insert it in any board but it has a sharp pin tip now why the tip is sharp because by making the tip sharp we decrease the area of cross section on decreasing the area the pressure is exerted more on the wooden board and because of the increased pressure the pin can easily penetrate the board So that's all for today. We will proceed with the legacy of learning in the upcoming videos and continue this chapter further. So thank you everyone for being here. Have a good day.